A severely under-talked about storyline amidst the Lakers' 2023 offseason is the progression of their soon-to-be sophomore out of Michigan State. Rightfully gaining comparisons to the late great Kobe Bean Bryant, Rob Palenka's 35th overall pick from last year in Max Christie has the potential to develop into the Lakers' next franchise player as his career progresses. While it's not even the preseason, it's evident that this on the verge of being second-year pro Max Christie is already a force to be reckoned with. With a 6'9 wingspan and guard skills, Christie combines those traits with a willingness to put in endless reps in the gym, not to mention blistering hops to spring up for monster throwdowns. While this video compares Max to Kobe based off his shockingly similar mannerisms to go along with his on-court abilities in terms of his shot-creating wherewithal, he is actually more reminiscent of a Mikhail Bridges, Kevin Durant type of player with how long he is. Lakers rival Draymond Green thinks he's pretty good who said regarding his fellow college alumni directly after he was drafted, quote, another 35th pick for Michigan State, history says he's going to be an all-star, end quote. The four-time champion, four-time all-star, four-time all-defensive team player, and defensive player of the year in green was snubbed of the 75th anniversary team, but is on his way to a Hall of Fame career. Christie is not so coincidentally ready to follow in his fellow Spartan and 35th overall picks footsteps. Both Max and Draymond, have played under legendary head coach Tom Izzo, prospering the adequate toughness and bludgeoning diligence that it takes to not merely compete, but thrive at the highest level. Back in 2021-22, over 35 games in the NCAA, Max was tied for second on the Spartans in both points and blocks per game, plus was named to the Big Ten All-Freshman team on a squad that finished 10 games over 500 and lost in the second round of the tournament to the Duke Blue Devils. In his rookie year, Christie never consistently established himself in Darvinham's rotation, but between the pre and regular season, he was still able to score in double figures three times, including twice in the span of five games during the month of January. In 12 and a half minutes on average over 41 outings, Christie managed just 3.1 points per game, but he did make 42% of his threes. Comparing this to Kobe Bryant's rookie year, and in 1996-97, the all-time great would manage just 7.6 points per game in exactly 3 more minutes on average than Max, over exactly 30 more games than Max. Christie's early work between the California Classic and Las Vegas 2K24 Summer League has made it clear to the basketball world that the just-turned 20-year-old from Arlington Heights, Illinois, is ready to get steady playing time in the Lakers rotation over the course of 23-24's 82-game grind. Offensively, it's clear his poise to make tough pull-up jumpers, either being mid-rangers or deep-range bombs under heavy traffic, has come a long way. And defensively, over the Lakers' first three summer league games, he's posted an average of exactly a block. Statistically speaking, Christie's scoring prowess has stood out the most, though, as he's put the summer league competition in their place by averaging 21.3 points per night in three outings, most prominently on 54% shooting from the field, and a mind-boggling 61.5% from three-point range. In terms of his combination of on a string handle and quick twitch first step, take in this behind the back between the legs hezzy combo before he explodes to his left hand and pulls off a dunk of the summer league contender by taking off well beyond the restricted area and finishing the posterization. Watch the under control creating awareness to keep it away from Quinones as he waits for the screen before he utilizes the pick to perfection and calmly stops on a dime with Quinones directly behind him. With an 8 foot 6.5 standing reach and merely 4.8% body fat, Christie's scoring prowess is both high arcing and agile. When he gets to his spot just inside the left elbow area and rises up with the trailing defender doing everything in his power to recover and the low man pressing up, yet seamlessly knocks it down, you can tell that whether it's the summer league or the pros, this kid is going to be tough to neutralize. Speaking to his versatility after getting this swing from Cuchafino at the top of the arc, he's able to be the dribble handoff guy before setting a big body screen to free up Cole Swider. After a pass from Jalen that nearly gets picked off right here, Max just calmly gathers, rips through to avoid traffic, attacks to his left hand, pulls it out to the baseline to force the switch, before utilizing a hard drive entry again to his offhand, and whirling around for the contested fadeaway, all while yelling Kobe. On the other end, key in on the head on a swivel and swift screen navigation to roll through both the DHO screen and on-ball screen before maintaining his footing on the attacker's bump off and stuffing the layup attempt out of bounds. Next, he receives the DHO and the flow goes between the legs cross right, momentum left, spin at the elbow back right through traffic before hanging in the air for a more than tough finish. 
Capping off a 25 piece here, he pulls out the Michael Jordan triple between the legs combo, which is impressive given his wiry frame before utilizing an in and out hezzy and nifty stop on a dime and pull up three. Decent closeout, but it's too late. At full speed, this play shows you how ambidextrous Christie is, as with his offhand on the move and going downhill, he goes between the legs cross before without hesitation attacking three defenders while finishing with that left. Christie's patience, confidence, and smoothness to operate as the pick and roll ball handler has been quite frankly shocking throughout his first three summer league showings. And as the Lakers close out their time in Vegas before ultimately progressing into the pre and regular season, watching this young Kobe Bryant type prodigy next to LeBron James in his final year in Los Angeles will be very interesting.